Hello, I'm Carolyn Kastner, Associate Curator of the George O'Keefe Museum and Curator of the exhibition O'Keefeana Art and Art Materials. This exhibition has been organized to reveal Georgia O'Keeffe's artistic practice. Her artistic process is based on an idea of the underlying composition, and it's by comparing her drawings to the paintings that we can actually begin to see her artistic process. So let's look at some art. Beginning with George O'Keeffe's drawing, this first one from 1916, the triangular form is very interesting to me, and it's actually the first object I looked at that set up the entire exhibition. The site of this drawing is the inside of a tent. So it's not until we actually read the title, uh, Inside the Tent While at the University of Virginia, which is the title of this oil painting here on the left, that we begin to understand where George O'Keefe was looking. The abstract triangular shape is the beginning of her looking. She's not editing away from a tent, but rather her first focus, her first vision, is focused on that triangular shape. In this drawing and watercolor, Georgia O'Keeffe expresses some ideas that were first introduced to her in 1912. And it has to do with the underlying concept of drawing in order to compose the picture that will be the finished work of art. So as we're looking at this little tiny drawing, we can see that she hasn't even filled the entire space, but she's marked the large landmarks. Uh, some mountains in the distance, a house in the mid-ground. So when we look at the watercolor in comparison, we begin to see the structure of how she's thinking about composing her art. What's interesting about this is throughout her career, she very seldom varied from her drawing to her finished work of art. Dale Cronkite, the conservator at the George O'Keeffe Museum, has taken more than 700 infrared photographs of George O'Keeffe's artwork. And it basically means that he can look beyond the painted surface that we're looking at here to the underlying canvas. So if we look at this tiny little infrared photograph, what we see are dark black lines up through the center and around the curve here and even outlining this lighter area. And that is the underlying charcoal. And what we have learned from these photographs is that she's very faithful to the underlying drawings in her artwork. In 1929, Georgia O'Keeffe came to New Mexico and stayed for three months. In her walks through the landscape, she collected many bones and began to think about what to do with them in her artwork. And what we're looking at here is horse's skull with white rose. And what I want you to pay attention to here is how there's no background. And that background is something that she couldn't quite figure out what to do about. She spent five years painting landscapes and bones before she had the sense of how to put those two objects together. And it was in that creation that she contributed to modern art a new art form. Neither still life nor landscape, but a combination of the two. In 1961, she took a 10-day raft trip down the Colorado River to Glen Canyon. As a result of that, she painted three large canvases. This one is uh, among those, Canyon Country, White and Brown Cliffs. What's interesting to us is in the process of putting this exhibition together, we found more than a dozen Polaroid photographs that George O'Keeffe had taken of the landscape. And in those Polaroids, she was very interested in this exact V-shape that she creates in the finished painting. What's more interesting is that she didn't paint this for four years, and in the intervening time, she created another charcoal drawing where she works out the dark and the light, the shadows, and how best to focus on this central V-shape. So there are many aspects of the canyon country that she might have focused on, but her primary interest was that central V-shape. In this drawing from 1963, she drew in diagonal lines and a horizon line and then notes the colors. 45 years after that first drawing, we saw where she does the same thing. What's interesting about this is to go from uh, the large view out of the airplane window to this tiny little drawing is one act of perception. But when we turn around and look at this painting, cloud five, yellow horizon and clouds, it's a performance of her retranslating 
this idea of the endless sky above those clouds. So when we go back and forth between the drawing and this painting, which is 84 by 48 inches, we can see that her composition is very closely aligned with the first composition. George O'Keeffe's underlying drawing practice powered a long and creative career. And over the course of putting this exhibition together, I learned a great respect for the discipline that she had to drawing, to the faithfulness of her drawing, and to finally how she accomplished a career that continued to unfold with new ideas and new concepts that guided her into the end of her artistic practice.